family-centered care is at the foundation of the work that we do as child life specialists. In the values of our profession and in the code of ethics of our profession, it states that we are to promote the psychosocial well-being for both patients and families, and we are to provide quality care for not only the patient, but also the family. The family and the caregivers are often a secure base for the patient, and they're the experts on their child. They can give us information on previous medical experiences or hospital admissions and how they cope with those experiences and what helped them to cope during those times. They can also provide more information on how the patient copes with stressful or scary experiences in general and how they typically respond to them. That information gives us the tools that we need to provide informed interventions for the patient and to promote positive coping for both the patient and the family. I learned a lot about family-centered care during my internship at the Children's Hospital of San Antonio. During my rotation in the pediatric intensive care unit, I walked with families through very stressful experiences and helped them to provide support for their patient and for also for the siblings. For example, I worked with one infant who was intubated and sedated during her time in the PICU. The family shared with us that there were 10 siblings at home, and due to our visitor policies, they weren't allowed to visit. And they were feeling disconnected from baby sister and didn't know what was going on at the hospital when the parents would come to the hospital. So I provided the parents with 10 stuffed bears, and I put an ID bracelet of the baby sister on each one. I also provided the family with educational tools on how to talk to the siblings about what was going on in the hospital. The parents took those resources home and reported back that the siblings loved the bears. They took them to school, to work, to practices, and even slept with the bears. And they helped them feel connected to baby sister, even though they couldn't visit her in the hospital. The family also shared that the educational tools we provided them helped them to be able to talk to, the fa to their family and to the siblings about what was going on in the hospital in a developmentally appropriate way. They felt like they could actually show up to the hospital and be fully present in the hospital, knowing that the siblings back home had the resources and tools they needed to cope with what was happening in the hospital and to also feel connected to baby sister even though they couldn't visit. We also provided that family with education on a G2 placement and other medical experiences that the patient was going through. That education helped the family make more informed decisions about the patient's care and helped them to be present to show up for the patient each and every day. That example shows the importance of family-centered care and how we can provide family-centered care as child life specialists. It's important to include the whole family in the experience and to help promote the family's coping as well as the patient's. Because if the family's stressed and can't provide the support that the patient needs, then the patient doesn't have that support and we can't promote their positive coping. So it's important to bring the whole family into the experience and my internship taught me the importance of family-centered care and I'm looking forward to implementing family-centered care as I step into a job as a child life specialist. Thank you.